Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And before I start the video, I figured that I would do a little bit of a, uh, a, a diagram here, a bit of an example. Uh, you know, I, I believe that it's very important to not just use words, but to visualize what's going on when reporting on a story here on YouTube or in any other media format. So let me show you Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Exhibit A, the Nintendo Switch, right? Here you go. You know, here's like the uh, here's the controller right there. You know, we, we've got it all situated here, right? So you know, Nintendo Switch. It's one of the best selling con. It's it's the best selling console right now, uh, bar none. It's selling better than the PS4 and the Xbox and, and the Pro and the X alterations. So you know, it, uh, Nintendo Switch is like one of the fastest selling consoles of all time it's you know breaking numbers it's dominating past console sales figures it's amazing then we've got exhibit b the xbox one and you know this console right now it's it, it, it's you know a lot of people are talking shit about microsoft that they failed this generation uh, that they, they they failed to you know uh live up to the uh, 360 success, and that may be true, but Microsoft has got a trump card. They're going to do something here, and, and I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. So, oh, 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 wait, hey, what's going on here? Oh, hey, how you doing there, Microsoft? Oh, how you doing there, Nintendo? Oh, well, hey, hey, what, what are you doing there, Microsoft? What? Why are you looking at Nintendo that way? Oh, I don't know. It's just that that blue and the red. I really like the way you look. Well, I like the way you look too, Microsoft. You looking really mighty fine. You know, your nice glossy controller right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my. Well, you know, come a little closer. Let 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 me see your design on your controller. How you look there? Oh, mm, 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 oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, well, let me get there in your controller hatch there for a minute. Oh yeah. All right, all right let's stop right now. That's right, enough. Think you guys get the picture? Think you understand what's going on here? Hey. Not mad at the situation, just that situation right there. That, that got a little out of hand. I apologize for that, folks. But, you know, sometimes that's what happens when something like this happens. And this is pretty fucking huge. This is massive. Xbox Live is, is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And I have not seen anything like this since Sega. I'm like happy and nervous at the same time now i don't play online games i'm not con um currently um uh, subscribed to xbox live nor am i subscribed to nintendo's online services just not into it don't want to spend the money on that i'm just not an online gamer now there's benefits of course there's games with gold there's um you know there, there's nintendo online but you know of course you guys know i like to bu buy uh, online I have certain digital games but that's usually if there's no other option but you know now we're gonna have cross play this has been talked about for some time they started off with Rocket League but now we're going to be getting um, like cross play on I don't play Fortnite but you get it like it, it's already started and you kind of see where this is going and, and there's a lot of speculation and I'm not sure if like if this is what's going to happen, if Microsoft is kind of planning on on just being sort of a, a third party now, because okay, first of all, there's a there's speculation that that um that the Games Pass is coming to the Switch, which is just crazy, you, you know, which would that means that you would be able to play Xbox games on the Switch. And, you know, it's not just like some small rumor on some corner of the internet or on some subreddit. I mean, this is being reported by big, you know, uh, by big video game news publishers. And, we're, you know, we're seeing a lot of video game media outlets reporting and speculating on this. And they've, they've, been, they've been hearing things. Can you guys imagine 
if that happens that that the games pass actually comes to the switch could you imagine if next generation comes around you know if the, when the ps5 is like ready to release and you know uh it's it's going to come time where microsoft is going to have to put out another product can you imagine if they decide to bow out team up with nintendo i mean not only would that fucking kill sony but uh i mean that would be a superpower to be reckoned with i, I mean imagine the resources of microsoft the resources of nintendo coming together I, I mean there's a lot of possibilities and we're not saying i'm not saying that that's what's going to happen and they're not saying that either but i mean it's just it's very reminiscent of sega um and you know I, I, this i think would probably turn out better than sega because i think that microsoft is currently in a better place than sega was back in 2001 uh currently anyway but it, it's pretty clear that you know microsoft uh didn't do such a good job this generation i mean they they made sales they did a good job I, you can't say that the xbox one was a failure but they really didn't hit their mark and they really did get their asses kicked by sony in sales and you know that was due to a poor start they really fucked up with the drm you know um there was a lot of things uh prior to the release of the xbox that really you know th there was a lot of canceled pre-orders it was something that we're seeing right now with like battlefield 5 and you know and, and the and uh call of duty you know we're, we're just seeing um like the same thing that happened you know with, with the xbox one with its initial release now they are doing a lot better with the a xbox one x but that's besides the point at, at, at um when it comes to this because this right now, this is like a crossroads in video game history. We are going to probably experience something very special here. Something that is going to change video games forever. Uh, because this announcement right here, I mean, this is the thing. You always think about it. Video game companies don't want to mix. Just like Sony, like they're they like cross play, like, oh no, I think they decided to do Rocket League. I forgot, but fuck Rocket League, right? Um but it's just like, you know, these companies are very protective of their properties, especially Nintendo. And you know, you would definitely understand why they might not want to mix with each other. You know, there's conflicts of interest, there's legality issues. But, you know, this is now confirmed about Xbox Live coming to the Switch. And Nintendo is going to allow it. And Microsoft wants it to happen. Uh, you know, <laughs> Nintendo wants Microsoft inside it. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, uh, hence the little diagram in the beginning. You know, but there you go. Now you have that little meme uh, to, you know, focus on and, you know, uh, go to sleep thinking about that at night uh, i mean this is this is super exciting news you know whether you're like me and you're not an online gamer or you are uh any way you slice it this is very interesting this is very monumental this is something most unexpected and i'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the future i mean it, it really does beg the question like what is going to happen and people are saying are we going to get halo on um on on the switch are we gonna get a portable uh halo i mean are, are we really i mean i don't know i would think that maybe not all of the xbox one games would be compatible for the switch i mean they would have to really rework a lot of different things because they're not really running on the same hardware i mean certain games have successfully run on the switch hardware that have been on the xbox such as doom for example but it really begs the question you know could a game like halo 5 run on the switch even could gears of war 4 run on the switch uh you know will gears of war 5 run on the switch i i don't know i mean we haven't even really gotten to that point yet but people are asking these questions and i think it's at a point right now where people are so super excited about it and there's so much interest it's almost like microsoft would have to do it at this point it's almost like they have no choice in the matter they're going to have to put you know the games pass on the switch because with this amount of speculation it would be almost foolish on their part it would almost hurt them to not follow through 
um, especially when there's some speculation, because it would seem that somebody at Microsoft would have had to say something for this amount of hype to transpire. So, yeah, guys, there you go. Uh, very exciting news. Uh, very, you know, uh, it's a very um, nail-biting situation. Like, what's going to happen here? What's the future of Microsoft? Does this mean that it's it's uncertain, that they kind of know where they want to go? Are they more uh, looking to be a service? Are they going to actually make another Xbox? Because you notice that even though the PS5 has been officially announced, there hasn't been an official announcement for another Xbox yet, uh, which is very curious, really begging a lot of different questions, like, you know, what's going to happen and what their next move is going to be. Because it, it's funny that this was announced before another Xbox was officially announced. That's really interesting. Anyway, guys, I, whole, I really hope you enjoy this video. And what do you think about this recent announcement? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Or hit a thumbs up uh, or hit a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't um, in the comments below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you get all the notifications when I post all my new videos. And thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.